process that includes acquiring, validating, storing, protecting, and process required data to ensure the accessibility, reliability, and timeliness of the data for its users. Data center is a expensive operation. You really need to spend the money on the initial setup, outgoing the maintenance, and the cost of associated with the pupil responsible for the maintenance. Again, the best solution here to outsource the work, you really probably have to pay the monthly fee, but it really save your money in the long run. Run. Security. Security is a major issue to overcome. Hypothetically, if your data is stored somewhere, it's possible for a third party to obtain it. There are many layers of security that can help you prevent this unauthorized access, including encryption and reliance on third party providers. But there is a limit to how well this can protect you. Even the FBI can trouble maintaining the security of its data when its own best practices aren't followed. You'll need to run a type of operation, choosing the, the best partner and keeping your own thing adhering to best practice at all times. Infrastructure Data needs a place to rest, the same way object needs shelter or a container. Data must occupy space. If you plan on storing vast amount of data, you will need the infrastructure necessary to store it, which often means investing in high-tech servers that will occupy significant space in your office or building. One of the easiest workaround is to use cloud hosting and cloud storage, which take advantage of Another company infrastructure to save you that space and the trouble of setting things up yourself. Corruption. Practically, every form of data storage has the potential to be corrupted. Stray particles can interfere with most forms of data storage, and anything relying on magnetic strips or electric storage can be, can be corrupted by electromagnetic interference. Even if there is not an outside source directly interfering with it, data can naturally degrade it over time. Your best bet for protection here is utilizing multiple backups.
Cloud law in limit flexibility First, let's look uh, at the cloud law in storage manager has allowed SAP to keep their management and a procurement option open which help to keep cost down and agility up In nearly a day of the corporate team, everything was a uh, proprietary effect that a great limited flexibility and increases cost Now, for the bad news the cloud as a login. Data cannot be directly transferred from one to the another. Complexity increases management workload risk. In this context, complexity relates to the number of storage devices or separate storage environment. More environment means more work and less ability to manage asset efficiently. It also means more risk. A loosely managed storage environment is more susceptible to data loss or data breach. Rigorous management matters because each account on a public cloud is a separate storage environment. Get where device. There are, there are ways to break out of these traps. One option is a gateway device that acts as a translator between on-premise system and the cloud. Letting you expand storage capacity into the cloud. This approach has limit. So, often the data is not stored in cloud native format, thus limiting flexibility. Data can go from cloud to cloud or from on-premise system to the direct directly. It goes to go through the gateway. First, the imposes performance and cost. That made it difficult to move data between clouds or on-premise resources. First, identify all the elements that need to be included in the database management system. It will carry depending on the size and type of your business. At the very least, you will need to be able to assess data on your role and finished goods, inventors, customer information, shipment tracking, employee data. New DBMS, before processing the new database, management system in service run it for a period of time outside your real business by running it through all the projected applications. Enter data, run report. This will provide the chance to correct any small issues. Thirdly, educate all users. Make sure all the users understand how to use the new database management system will minimize downtime and other issues that are commonly associated with a new implementation. Evaluate the system after it has been up and running for a time. After running the system live, ask users to evaluate the ease of use and recommend ways to the system could be used to make life easier for everyone in the company. <laughs> Wait, Danny. <laughs> there are many layers of security. <laughs> Anif, but...